We have an equation with fractions. And the nice thing about this is that if we look at the denominators, we can choose a number that all of these numbers go into in such a way that it'll clear the fractions in one step. So let's look at these numbers. We have 10, 3, 5, and 2. All of those numbers go into 30 evenly. So let's take both sides of this equation and multiply it through by 30. Another way you could figure out what you should multiply the equations through by is to ask yourself what would be the least common denominator if you were going to add all these numbers. So let's choose to multiply both sides of this equation through by 30. And when we do that, I'll write the 30 as 30 over 1. So we have 30 over 1 times x over 10 when we distribute plus 30 over 1 times 1 third equals, we have 30 over 1 times x over 5 plus, distribute one more time, 30 over 1 times 1 half. Now let's simplify. The 30 and the 10 are both divisible by 10, so that simplifies to 3 and 1. So we have 3x plus, again, 30 and 3 this time are both divisible by 3, so we have 10 and 1, and we're left with 10. Equals 30 divided by 5 is 6, so we have 6x, plus finally 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now notice, if you do this correctly, after you multiply through by that number, you should clear the fractions in that one step. Now we have a linear equation with no fractions. Let's choose to move the variables to the left-hand side, but it really makes no difference. You could also have moved them to the right-hand side. So let's subtract 6x from both sides. So 3x plus 10 minus 6x equals 6x plus 15, again minus 6x. Let's simplify that. 3x minus 6x is negative 3x plus 10 equals, on the right-hand side, we just have 15 because 6x minus 6x adds up to 0. Let's now subtract 10 from both sides to move the constants over to the right. Negative 3x plus 10 minus 10 equals 15, again, minus 10. So we really have negative 3x is equal to 5. Let's divide both sides of this equation by the coefficient of x, negative 3, and we can write our answer x equals, I'll just move that negative sign up to the numerator, it's more standard, x equals negative 5 thirds, or we can write the solution set as negative 5 thirds.